welcome to another rubber little walkthrough i am back at it with nba 2k23 before i got into it i did want to say thank you to everyone who has tuned in appreciate the love and support all the new members welcome to the rubble family i appreciate you as well and yeah i'm here today pretty much just trying to show you guys what my post fade animation is and why i think it is probably one of the best post fade animations in the game so stay tuned for that i'll show you guys how to shoot it couple settings couple tips couple tricks all that good stuff let's get into it so first things first you got to go to your settings and put your difficulty to hall of fame it is slightly more difficult to shoot on Hall of Fame, but it is the most beneficial thing for you to do because you can use Hall of Fame settings to shoot across the board, both online and offline. Once you know your timing for Hall of Fame, you will be pretty much good to shoot anywhere at any time. Hall of Fame is the 1.6 multiplier so that you know it is Hall of Fame at 1.6. <laughs> but yeah, that's the first things first is changing that settings next thing you will want to do is check your controller settings just to make sure that you have your thing set up properly for me i have no shot meter i've been shooting that way out the gate i also sometimes switch between having my shot and layup timing on or just my shots for right now all you really need is just your shot timing on because that's all that matters as far as the timing release for me is early that's what works best for me this is more preference based and it's based on how hard or how long you will hold the square button when you're shooting the ball so for me early works best it may change what you're looking at in terms of your cue but that's mainly preference based it doesn't make you green any more or less as far as everything else there's one more setting that you do need to change and that is your shot feedback so that's in the settings shot feedback turn it to all shots that way you can see whether you're releasing the ball early late slightly early or late or if you're perfect release greening it so this will help you narrow down exactly your shot timing and help you to hit more shots a little bit more consistently once you understand how you're releasing the ball so shot feedback i always keep it on all shots and let's move on these are my post fade animations so i started out well not started out once they released the different booker shot release i believe this was season three this was my post fade for a pretty long time it's pretty good it has a good amount of animations that you can shoot comfortably it creates a good amount of space on some of them but the first post fade i was using was the nicola yo kick fade this one was my post fade for the first two seasons it's very different and it could create some space on some shots it is a little bit slower to shoot with what i will say is that it doesn't have as many good animations as this jason tatum fade so the jason tatum fade is to me the best fade animation in the game largely because it has so many good animations in it there are you could pretty much pick any animation in this fade package and feel comfortable shooting it. For me, I could green just about any animation because the release and the cue is pretty much the same across the board. So this is the post fade that I started using. It just came out in season four. And if they do decide to release something in season five that completely trumps it, then obviously I'll have to make a new video. <laughs> but for now, I did want to say that the Jason Tate is the best fade in the game. So yeah, we're gonna head over to Chris Brickley. First thing you wanna do is start up the drills. You do have the normal option or the hard option. They're pretty much the same and just different requirements to pass it. The shot timing is the one that I'm going to do. I'll do it on normal just in case if you don't have the hard version unlocked yet. So. Go to shot timing, 
you could also do the post moves one-on-one -on -one, but this one is with the defender uh that's something you could tackle at another time i do want to say starting out with the shot timing will help you get your timing on your shot down packed a lot better when you click on it you do get this option to push x or square go with square reason being is that you could practice an unlimited amount of times whereas if you hit x you only really get two chances a day to do this drill and you do get badge points for it if you hit x you don't get badge points if you hit square but you do get to practice it an unlimited amount of times so always hit square especially if you have your badges maxed out already so let's start out with the first fade animation i am gonna shoot and show you guys exactly what to look for so i'll pause it here just so you can see exactly how you should look when you're releasing the ball in a perfect animation for me since my shot timing is on early this is what it looks like for me so the ball has to be above my head that's my indicator to let me know let the ball go anytime that the ball is over my head i know it's going to be a green release if i let it go in that moment so even though everything else may vary with the jason tatum fade animation that is my indicator once it looks picture perfect like this let the ball go it goes in every single time it hasn't failed me yet so i'll show you what it looks like see perfect release green every time let's try it again just so you can see from a slightly different angle that you jump into your post fade animation the ball gets over to my head i'll pause it right here this is what it looks like pretty much as picture perfect as the last one ball over my head let the ball go it's gonna go in every single time let's see if i could do it in real time without slowing it down that one did feel slightly off and of course it still goes in i'm not sure why whites go in now it's like the weirdest thing that they touched in the game but that's what it looks like green every just about every time as soon as the ball gets over to my head just let it go it's green and it's pretty consistent across the board it doesn't matter how much defense tries to contest this shot it creates so much space that it's pretty much hard to contest that's one thing that i do like about this fade animation in particular it creates a ton of space even through double teams so let me show you guys exactly what I do when I'm locked in and I'm focused. See you how consistent this shot could be. And that's how you do it great a shooting 100 10 out of 10 just because you know your cue it may take time for you to know what your release timing is but it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it i'll show you guys another animation just so that you can see how consistent it is across the board no matter which animation you're using i'll go to the other side and fade from there pretty consistent let me slow it down just so you guys can see it a little bit clearer as to what I'm looking at. So with this fade, it is a weirder looking fade, but the principle is the same. As soon as the ball gets over to my head, just let the ball go. It's going to go in every single time. In this animation in particular, he kicks his leg out and there's too many different things happening. But if you just keep focused on the ball and your hands as long as it gets over the head let it go it's gonna go in every single time show you it one more time 
all over the head this is what it looks like it looks more picture perfect in slow motion than in real time but yeah ball over the head let it go it's green it's pretty consistent across the board but yeah this post fade animation is the best that they put into the game so far i'll show you exactly how consistent that animation could be as well just like the last one let's see if i could knock down all of them and of course i white out the gate <laughs> but yeah i'll add a little shimmy to it just double tap square to shimmy fade right before you do a post fade animation Yeah, I feel like I could do this all day. Like the post fade is so consistent. This animation in particular doesn't create as much space as the last one, but once you are open, it is an option that you could go to. But yeah, once you got the hang of it, you could pretty much do any post fade animation in the game. It's all pretty much the same. Ball over the head and let it go. It's gonna go in regardless, so. Yeah, that's gonna do it for me. It's Rebel Lil. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'll be back with the playoffs in regards to my, my career series. And I'll try to drop some tips and tricks along the way. And that's gonna do it for me. It's Rebel Lil. I'm out. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.